Check, check. Hey. Wait, I think we're good. Are we good? Do we have sound now? Do we have sound now? Fire the sound guy. I swear it wasn't me. Fire the sound guy. Renata said crickets. Crickets? Yeah, Give her I, some crickets. Uh, uh, no, crickets. That was my... Uh, my they heard my, my s s cricket sound earlier. Oh, do we have sound? Do we have Hello? sound? Hello? Hello? Check, check. Somebody tell us we got fucking sound. I see. I'll yeah. Yeah, Hi. yeah Hi. success. By the last breath, the fourth wind's it? blow. I, I, I think we need to fire the sound guy. Who fixed it? Who saw it? It was that other guy. Yes. He just ran out the door. All right. For afraid of getting his ass kicked. Now let's not inter interrupt your introduction. We'll let you go. By the last breath, the fourth winds blow. You better raise your ears. The sound of the moose and squirrel show knocks at your door. And you better fucking answer. Yeah. We have a special guest here today. Hey, guys. All the way from the mean streets of Danvers, Massachusetts. Watch out. Talking about cover songs. Stacy Holt, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everyone. Hey, Stacy. How are you guys? Not too shabby. We're here. Good I'm to have you. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy people can hear us yes. now. Yes. Yep. Hey. Absolutely. Yes. Right? Big round of applause for the sound guy. Thank God. Even though we just ran Thank out of here. for him. Yeah, I think exactly. he just got hit by a car in the street. So, so, somebody, had to fix, somebody had to fix it. Someone had to fix it. Yep. All right. This is great. Nice. How's everybody doing today? N not too shabby. Yeah. I know we're infringing on uh, people are waiting. They're like, ah, oh, we'll watch this bullshit until the fucking Patriots come on. But, you know. Maybe. It might be. Maybe, maybe you'll make it interesting enough. Maybe. Thank you for we'll joining us today. Thank you for your patience. And it took a lot of patience. Yeah, it took a lot of my <laughs> really patience. Took a couple minutes. Patience is a virtue and also a Guns N' Roses song. Patience uh, is a virtue that I have no time for. I like it. Patience is a cover song oh. that I did not mention. I don't no, believe. I don't think my, anybody uh, did. My, my pre-interview. Yes. Is that what we're doing today? We're doing cover songs? We cover are. songs, I think so. Oh, all right. Absolutely. Boom. Yes. We're on fire today, folks. So I, I, what we're going to do, we put together a list. We have some pretty shitty cover songs <laughs> uh, that I think we can all agree are pretty shitty cover songs that are universally panned for being terrible songs. Yeah. Uh, we got some that we think that are good. We might disagree or agree on some of those that are good. And we got a bunch that the viewers had commented on earlier in the week and said, hey, here's some that we think that we want to uh, we want to go with. So I think we're going to start off here. And we didn't have to put these on the list. But I think, you know, we can all agree. All of us are, you know, kind of rock metal guys that the band that does the best with cover tunes is Metallica. Let, we, we have to start off with where where it all began. Yes. For, True story. No doubt. True story. And, and it, I mean, right off their first album, Kill Em All, they had Am I Evil and Blitzkrieg, both cover tunes. We have to start with Am I Evil. And I, at the time, I, I had no idea it was a cover tune. I listened to the song for probably three, four years before somebody told me it was a cover tune. I thought it was an original song. Go back to, go back to episode one. Just found out just now. <laughs> go back to episode one when he talked about the brother-in-law, Rodney, giving yes, him the thing and absolutely. saying, hey, check out Am I Evil. Hey, I like this song. I, I think the rest of it's garbage on the back of Whiplash yeah. EP, but... Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, he he'd rather listen to Weird Al Yankovic than uh, Am oh, I Evil. That's right. But that's we got to talk right. about Diamond Head. Yep. Because I watched an old video and they were essentially a glam band. Yeah, well, pretty much. They were very much a uh, like the you know the predecessor to hair metal. They yeah. were very very pretty. And you'd think, all right, I got to admit, I, I heard Am I Evil by Metallica before I ever heard it from Diamond Head. Yes. And watching this back, it's like. Man, you wouldn't think that this, you know, Metallica back then was in 85, 86, whatever. They were this, these, you know, metal gods. You wouldn't think that they got this song from a, a, a almost glitter band with yep. leather pants and, you know, flying Vs and all that baloney. And, and, you know, dancing around and a guy singing unlike Hetfield. He was singing like, gotta be good, gotta be right. You know your mind on helpless, you know. Yes. So oh, it's it's crazy how good they converted all those songs because some of those songs are almost borderline unlistenable to. Budgie you comes the, to mind. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Bread fan. When you, mm -hmm. when you you first hear that, it sounds like it was recorded in somebody's basement. It's just terrible. I don't even know what you guys are talking about? To be honest, the, 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 there's going to be a lot. There's yeah. going to be a. Oh, oh, oh. 
there's yeah, going to be a lot of that. Fan. Metallica Bread Fan was on the back of one, right? Correct, John? Yes. The back of one. The, one the cassette single. Cassette single. Not produced by Metallica. Cassette yes. Single? Not, single. Not, yeah, the single. Not strawberries. Root one. It was not very produced by Metallica. Not very. Not very. Not even close. Not even close. Not even at all. Oh but my. I mean, you look at the 590 p That, and 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 I said this on when we talked about Metallica. That was better than Injustice for All. I enjoyed it more than I enjoyed. Justice. Well, because you heard Newstead's bass. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And this is true. Yeah. No. No doubt. I mean, not that Injustice for All was a bad album, but I enjoyed the 590 p which was all covers. It was five cover tunes, and I thought it was better. Most definitely. I it was much better. Most definitely. Uh, I don't know. What else What else can we say about Metallica? How about shutting your phone off? Can we say that? We can uh, say the obvious. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Kind of dick puts his phone I on. I am very unprofessional. Thank you for noticing. Mm. Preparation uh, H. There you go. So we got the list here. I do not want to talk to the, with the one on the worst on the list. I don't want to talk about that right away. I want to save that one because that's, gonna, that's so good. Keep it a secret. That's so good. That's so bad. It's good. But um, I agree, hundred percent. Yeah. All right. So you're, 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 you're the guest, so we're gonna let you go first. But you know, we, you you got a list here. You got some cover tunes that you had given us. Oh let's, boy. It's let's so throw hard something to out. Choose. It's so hard to choose. So do I go with something really heavy to start? Something that. It's all up to you. Oh no. I mean, right? you, you you don't have to because you know we got. You know, there's Whitney Houston is on here. We got Bruce Springsteen on here. We got Joe Cocker on here. So it's we not do. just all heavy rock and stuff. So we do, we do. We got we got Britney Spears obviously on the shitty list. I don't think that goes without saying, oh, but it's, it's it's there. Careful, you might upset my house. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. Well, you know, I think that I'm gonna start with. I have to start with Sound of Silence. Okay. And the reason why is because the first time I heard it. Like when I heard that, I was listening to satellite radio, and they said, we're gonna play this cover song by Disturbed, and it's Sound of Silence. And I was like, whoa, no. Cause you know, a cover song has to sound like the original, I think. But, but or better. it has to be so amazingly different that it's, it's, just, it's just so awesome. But that they, the artist makes it their own. Yeah. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. depending upon the artist, of course. Right. Right. But I'm sitting in there, and I and I'm sitting there, and I'm listening, and I'm like, okay, this is good so far. And then it gets to a certain point in the song, and I said, if he does not sing this the way I need him to, I'm shutting it off. Great. I'm so pissed, and I got goosebumps, and then I turned it up. And that was the first time you heard it. Very first. Awesome. Time. Very first time, and I said, you know what, this is top five of my favorite songs forever and it, it, still it's, well a, done. it's a great song yes. but i had very little hope for it when i heard that they were doing it what was the genesis song that they covered of land of confusion yes, yes. that was so fucking bad oh, come when on. I, I i was expecting it to be good i hated it only because it the fucking genesis video with the muppets with the with the with the uh craft uh, the Muppets. H.R. Puff and stuff. Yeah, whoever the hell made that. They were Muppets. Marty and, uh, Marty and Sid Croft made the yes. puppets or whoever the... Correct me in the comments. Just, that was so much better than anything anybody could ever throw on them. I like the original version, and when I heard the yeah. disturbed version of it, I thought it was terrible. They tried. Yeah, they, yeah. Did, they, they tried, tried. and they, it was very commercial. Yep. And it was very much geared, I think, to the video, almost, yeah. you know? Agreed. So. And that's why when I heard Sound of Silence, I had very low hopes for that and i absolutely loved it and i know when we put it out online it was 50, it was split 50 50 there was a bunch of you guys that said terrible cover tune and what? and a bunch and a bunch of people said one of the best can't ever be friends. I, you guys can't and i can't be friends sorry <laughs> and I, I i'm with you i think it's it's one of the the better probably i'd say it's in my top 20 exclude metallica it's in my top 20 favorite See, but i i love simon and garfunkel so don't i hey. yeah and and so i when i first heard it I was a little, I don't know, maybe I'm just a snob. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I like that reaction. But when I first heard it, I was bit. like, this is the guy that went, ooh, ah, ah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> So I was like, ah, yeah. maybe you shouldn't. And then the, the, more, monkey the more I heard it, the more I went, this is all right in my book. Yep. And hey. And this is all opinions, folks. That's yes, right. I've it's never perfect. recorded anything any uh, close to... And Bo and I have never recorded anything close to being as popular as The Sound of Silence by Disturbed. So, this is all just opinion. All right. No, it's not. You're up, squirrel. Pick a song. 
All right, I'm going to uh, – we're going best or let's okay. talk worst? Take the worst, man. I'm going to throw my worst out there right now. Off the bat, I have to say it was from a movie, and I didn't even – I didn't even care enough to research it. Cheryl Crow doing Sweet Child of Mine by GNR. Pistols and Pansies. I mean, Guns and Roses. It was out of key, out of, out of, out of, fa- out of time. She had no business doing that no, song. It was, didn't. it sounded like. The record company told her, we need a song for the thing. You're going to do Sweet Child of Mine in, in just one, uh, you know, one fell swoop. And she came in, did it, and left. And they just went, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that one take. So what, what it song, was awful. What song is more like Nails on a Chalkboard, that one or the duet she did with Kid Rock? God, oh, what the I fuck? like that song. Oh, oh. that's terrible. Yeah. It's not as bad. That, the Sweet Child of Mine cover, it, it's, it's sacrilege. I'm that, not that's a fan a of Cheryl tune. Crow. I'm a fan yeah. of that song because of Kid Rock. Kid Rock. Okay. I, okay. I, I'm, a, I'm a Kid Rock fan. Absolutely. I like his early stuff. <laughs> ball with the ball and bang and then did it in the bitty and the booby and bop bop a diddy and a bop. Orangutan titties. Is that what yes. he says? Orangutan titties. I think he says orangutan titties and a titty and a boomy and uh, up, I, up, the boogie. That's what yeah. I thought it was. Yes, it was something like that. Something like that. But but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm I like it better when rappers delight when uh, Sugar Hill Gang did it. Yeah. <laughs> I got that backwards. Yes. Yes. That's okay. We'll that's let it. Right. We'll let These it things slide. happen, folks. All right. Um, yeah. No, that's a terrible song. I agree. Yeah, 100%. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to the list. So I, I, I mentioned Britney Spears earlier, mm. and Britney Spears did uh, two covers. Uh, one was she did a cover of I Love Rock and Roll. It made me hate rock and roll. Yeah, and it, it almost made me hate rock and roll, but not as much as when she did the cover of the Rolling Stones' Satisfaction. That is sacrilege. And I don't know if you've ever heard it. but Devo Satisfaction if, was yes, better if, than... Oop. If, if you if you think it if you think it sounds bad her singing it you have to hear it because both of those songs it. absolutely destroyed and it's stuff like that to me if you take a song that was super popular like that and you do a cover it's a cash grab uh, five yeah. flavored fruit punch five finger death punch <laughs> it's like every third song that they release is is a cover tune. And it's it's a cash grab. Careful. They can't write their own shit, so they got to make covers of other stuff, and Love they, it. they destroy and they them. The world. Love it. Yes, and it's awful. It's it, that is that. Oh. Exactly. And, and I I get you're trying to make it your own, and, and if you change the words mm. slightly, you change one word here and one word there. But if, when, when you're changing too much of it, that's you, if, you, you're going way overboard. If it still fits the song. And you change it to like update it, you know? They yep. did like, oh, this is uh, when they when they covered the cranberries, and they were like, oh, this is the way it is in 2017, whatever the fuck they said. I gotta get, I gotta get a gripe, a, a, a peeve of mine right off the bat, when it comes to cover songs. One of the greatest bands in the world ever to exist is the band, Bob Dylan's backing band. The band. The there band. is no argument here. I will I will put up I will put up a divider between the both of you and argue whatever. Joan Baez covered their the night they drove old Dixie down. I don't know why her engineer, recorder, producer, whoever did not stop her because she sang whatever lyric she wanted to and put in there like there's a line at the end that you can't raise a cane back up when he's in defeat. That's the original lyric. She goes, you can't raise a cane back up when it's in the feet. Like, in the feet? Like she, she, didn't know the she didn't know. It, it was wow. a, speaking of cash grab, yep. that's all it was. It was like, hey, let's do an anti-war song. So I, I, got, I got two that I'm going to spin off of that. I hate that song. Num- number one is when Megadeth did Anarchy in the UK. Mm. Dave Mustaine did not know the lyrics to the song. Because. And at the very end of the song where they say, and other council tendencies, Dave Mustaine says, and other cunt-like, cunt-like tendencies. tendencies. Ah. And he thought that was the original lyrics. And somebody told him, no, that's not what the original lyrics are. And it was not until after he recorded the song yep. that he found out. And that's on the list, by the way, as, but, as, as, as a good cover tune. But and, that's forgivable. Yes, because he didn't know. So it wasn't he didn't like know. he intentionally changed it. And there was no Google back then. No, nope. and there was, you didn't have lyrics and on the inside. And Johnny of Rotten's vocals are rotten. Well, yes, as is his teeth. But 
you know, when he says, well, he's and at a he's count, British, so. his, he, he, he sounded yeah. like this, and at a count of 10 days, yeah. you didn't, you, how will you figure that out when you're uh, yep. Dave Mustaine and so, 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 so number two. Joan Baez, you know that Judas Priest did a cover of a Joan Baez song. I, I can I, I Diamonds can, and Rust is a Joan Baez song. Yeah, oh yeah, really? Yeah. Yes, that is a Joan Baez song. And that's Diamonds fine. Diamonds and Rust. Okay. So you you I, you got me. You, yeah, I got two spinning off of you. I got not knowing the lyrics, and I got Joan Baez all in the same one. They did that in the WAF studios acoustic. It was like one of the only Judas Priest acoustic versions. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. When when AAF was going off the air, they did a, like a you know a, a whole forty uh, twenty thirty forty year yes. whatever, and they played Judas Priest doing Diamonds and Rust by Joan Baez in the studio acoustic, and it was phenomenal. Oh my heart, AAF. Rest in peace. All right, here we go. Yes. Best right. worst, pick one. What do you got? Oh. Stacy's turn. Um. All right, so I'm gonna go heavy now. And it's I'm about gonna, time. Ooh. All right. For the, uh, the pop fans that love uh, some, uh, love them some Taylor. I'm not a fan of Taylor Swift at all. No. Really? No. Definitely not. You strike not. me as a Taylor Swift fan. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's insulting. You, uh, can, you can hit him, by the way. Violence is encouraged on the show. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. We'll see what happens, but I am absolutely not. Um, I understand why young girls are. I'm not going to shit all over. I won't say that. I think that some of her songs are, have decent lyrics, so I'm all right with that. I'm just not a huge fan. I'm not She's talented. pop music anyway. So all right. I like it when Heavy takes pop music and makes it their own. Yep. And the first time I heard... Is it I Prevail saying the song, Blank I, Space? I think so, yep. And the first time I heard it, I said, I have to, I have two teenage daughters. Love you guys and hate your music all day, every day. All day, every day. But they like mine sometimes, you know, I like when I force it upon them. That's what kids do. They do. They do. Thanks, Ma. That's why I and listen TikTok to Queen. helps a little. TikTok and unfortunately Glee, but uh, that might be a segment in itself. Just <laughs> that show. But anyway, so um, first time I heard it, I said I have to play this song for them because it is so heavy. I was curious to hear how they would react. They loved it. They loved it, and they love it more than the original, I think. Excellent. Now that's so different. That's conversion. Now, I'm telling you guys, it's not for everybody. It definitely isn't. It is, um, it, at the very least, if, if when you hear it, if you hear it, then... Just take it with a grain of salt. And that, just uh, enjoy it. That's enjoy a song it. I never heard. So the cover nor the original. So I, oh, I can't, really? I can't say one way or the other. Oh man, don't listen to the original anymore. Okay. Uh, if I'm going to listen to the cover, I'll have to listen to the original that's so true. I can see if, if they did it justice. If they made it better. Do you, uh, you know the Taylor Swift song? I know you do. It's probably on your phone. Speaking of teenage daughters. Right. This is ringtone. Notice he didn't deny it. My w uh, when my youngest was. 20, 19, whatever. She went to see Taylor Swift. Oh boy. She's got her camera out. Taylor Swift went around shaking hands with everybody. She's got a video of Taylor Swift coming around and going. She looks right at Sierra and says, you look beautiful. Oh, and that is. Bah! So she has that for wow. life. So that's my Taylor Swift story. All right. Props the to end. Taylor for that. Props to Taylor for that. Yep. See, to young, young girls. J Jim said, who doesn't like Taylor Swift? I think I have to All unfriend right. him. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Let's get some comments. Uh, 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 who? Uh... D Dom Frizzy, Madonna, American Pie. Mm. It, that is absolutely god-awful terrible. I love no, I love Madonna, but there's some, some bullshit in there. The, the Don McLean version, fantastic. No one should... That's Don McLean's that, song. That's a song that should never be covered. Never be covered. And that is another thing about covers. You don't cover songs that shouldn't be covered. Correct. A lot of people, if and we do, I know we touched on... If you do, you better bring it. Yeah. Like, right. no one should be covering Rolling Stones songs like we talked about. Yeah, so he, here, here's one that I'm going to throw out there, and I don't know, it's an obscure one. I don't know if you... Uh, that's you Barry Gordy Jr.'s son. Rockwell. And he did a cover of the Beatles' Taxman. He can't sing. And 
uh, uh, Rockwell that's uh, somebody's, like somebody's watching, watching me. me with Michael Jackson singing. The reason why Michael Jackson sang the chorus is because he's the son of the president of Motown Records. Yeah. And Michael Jackson sang the chorus because when I'm a... In the shower. I'm afraid to wash my hair. That's not a singer. That's a fuck. That's I'm gonna. Uh, that's take your son to work day. That's not fucking singing. And I, I'm not a huge uh, Beatles fan. I do respect their opinion. You know what their place in, in rock and roll history. Oh yeah. Not a huge fan, but this is another iconic song that should have never been touched, and, and especially by some talentless hack like Stevie this. Stevie Ray Vaughan nailed it. He did a great job. Yep. On it. He put his own spin, like he does on everything. But mm-hmm. Rockwell, I knew when you no, saw that you on there, it would get you going. We got a we got a podcast in New Hampshire with four hundred followers. What are you doing, Rockwell? Rockwell. <laughs> Washing Daddy's car. He's he's collecting money, probably. So that song yeah. is used a lot. Duh. Because it's again, it's so terrible. Yeah, and yep. but what? It's memorable. What, it's what's so he terrible. paying in taxes? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Probably I nothing. Know, Probably nothing. Massachusetts. Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. I know, ah. sorry. All right. Ah, anyway. We'll take 5% of that comment. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. What do you got, Johnny? Give me another one. Oh, let's talk about ones that piss me off. Because certain, certain songs, when do, uh, done by the original artist, just shouldn't be covered. I think we talked about this. Yep, certain songs that you should never be touched. Over, under, last week on episode seven. Thank you, everyone, for tuning into that and commenting in. Both uh, of you. All, all the Brendans and all the Bob Krauses. Yeah. Thanks, Brendan. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, yes. Bob, Brendan, Brendan, Bob. Big Bob. I think Brendan. I mentioned, maybe I dreamed it, but Edwin Starr, War, is yep. one of the best male vocals ever. Just raw, dangerous, angry. Yep. All the things you want in a great song. Bruce Springsteen had no right. No I lo- right. And now, don't, disclaimer, I love the boss. I don't. Happy birthday a couple of days ago, whatever the fuck. Nope. He had no right covering war. Terrible. I Live agree. in 1985 when there was no war. Yeah. Good, good timing. <laughs> he just, I know he was trying to pay tribute to Edwin Starr and, and honor him and uh, whatever reason anybody decides to cover a song. And his band was capable of performing that song. Yep. But you'll n- never match Edwin Starr's vocal on that. Agreed. Yeah. No. The originals should just stay the originals. The, yeah, there are some songs that just should never be I touched. Agree. Just like some movies should never be remade. Yep, agreed. Pe- no? People? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Hey, yeah, that's I'm a whole to episode. I, I won't go. To, I won't go to the movies. I won't watch movies because <clears> no one has <throat> any good ideas in Hollywood anymore. And I, you take that to the bank. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw out a two for here. A song Uh-oh. that's been can't wait covered twice by, by by once by Winger and once by The Cure. And that would be Jimi Hendrix Purple Haze. Mm. And just when if you heard the Winger version and. When you thought it couldn't I, get any worse, I have. But wait, there's oh, more. Oh no! The Cure did a version of it too. If that's a cure, I'd hate to see yeah, the disease. I, I, I would rather have the disease. Oh, I'll wear a mask for the rest of my life if yeah. that's the fucking disease. Holy oh, hell! Uh-oh. That, that I, I, I've listened to both of them, and they're just both. Te- it's. I, I won't necessarily say that's a song that shouldn't be covered. It shouldn't. I, 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 all right, so if Stevie Ray did a cover of it, you'd be okay with it. If someone of that caliber did a, yes. a cover if, of it, you'd be okay. If Gary Sharon and Nuno Betancourt, actually, if the entirety of Extreme covered Purple Haze, I would be all right with that because they could fucking nail it. The wing, Winger, come on. Winger. Yeah, Winger did a cover, and the, and the Cure did a cover of it. I and, didn't even have them on my list. <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> Lars did, and he threw fucking darts at it. Yep, die, Kip. But that—that—that's a song that was just brutalized not once but twice. And I, and I got another one that—that's done right and done wrong. I'm making the—I'm chopping onions face yep. for that yep. song. Good, because I'm, I'm and I'm going out of turn here because I'm on a roll, so I'm going I'm going out of turn. And I got another one that was done right and done wrong. Sacred Reich did a cover of. Black Sabbath War Pigs, and I'm going I'm to be sacrilegious here and say that it's better than the original. It is absolutely Uh-oh. better than the Black Sabbath version. Oh, no, no, and then Faith No More did a version of it, and it's awful. That's a doing it right and doing it wrong. Faith No More did a good cover of, uh, of another song I didn't mention. 
but easy. Yeah. Awesome. Love yeah. That, right? Yep. Lionel. Yep. Absolutely. Love yep. a Commodore. That, love a Lionel. That, that's a that's Beautiful. a great cover. I love that. Song. I agree. Yep. That's but, on my uh, my playlist. Really? Yeah. Yes. It's, nice. It's, yeah, it's on. It's on. Uh, I have it on my. Phone I will as well. I give love that. the War Pigs Faith No More, the Sacred Reich one, <laughs> thumbs up. Definitely. The War Pigs uh, Faith No More. It's like. The biggest problem that I have with it is he forgot the fucking lyrics. Mike Puffy Borden, the drummer, fucking killed it. He really did a great job. And give Jim Martin his due. He really, 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 really worked his balls off on that one. I'm right. just looking at it at, okay. the, at the comments. <laughs> yeah. So, so Jim Chappett. Sonic, Love Sonic Youth. Sonic Youth doing the Carpenter's Superstar. Don't know that I know that one. I don't know that one. I've never heard that. Nope. It's I, interesting. Nope. Definitely. I know, I know the Carpenters version. I don't. I love Sonic Youth. Yeah, Sonic Youth, great band. Never heard it. Never heard them do that. And oh, I'm. Man, there's gonna be some awesome songs. Uh, there. Adam Ant's there. "Hello, I Love You" by the Doors. I can't. Uh, mm-hmm. Which Brendan? Which pile are you putting that in? The shit <laughs> pile or the good pile? Because I love Adam Ant. I was gonna say love Adam Ant. Let Adam the Ants. Yep. Dom, Texas Flood, and Cold Shot were covers too. Hey. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think pretty much you know, 90% of what Stevie Ray and Jimmy did were covers of each other, so. Huh. Little Wing. Stevie Ray Vaughan Better made, version. made that his own. Yes. Yep, agreed. Twice as long as the original. No lyrics. And if you listen in headphones, you can hear his amp humming. And I, that's what I love about that song. It was just so fucking emotional mm. and... You know, I'm going to get emotional. I'm going to go over in the corner and cry. Uh, no. won't, won't be the first time. Well, all right, so let, let's let, let's get back to something good here. Don't look. All right. All right. So, look. all right, so you just said Stevie Ray Vaughan, Little, little Wing. Some, uh, you had also said Superstition. Mm. Oh, Stevie Ray Vaughan doing uh, Stevie Wonder Superstition. Can't go wrong with that. Great. Come on. Yep. Love it. Yeah, let's get out of the worst. All right, so let's yeah, let's, let's pump some people up here. All right, so let's get into some good stuff. All right, Stop I'm gonna being so negative. I'm gonna start. Johnny Cash, Nine Inch Nails, Hurt. Yes. Awful. Come on. Awful. Well, that sounds awful anyway, to be honest. The original, the original is awful. The original is awful, and the, and, and the cover tune was a cash grab. No, no it wasn't a cash grab. Ha, no. cash! I got that. But I'm bummed. Took you a minute there. Uh, Let's ah waka waka. Let us. It's story time, kiddies. Oh, Let's talk about Rick. I Ru- like stories. Let's talk about Rick Rubin for a minute. Rick Rubin is probably currently in the last forty years one of the most fascinating people in modern music. Definitely he a weird started one. out. Is that your kind way of saying he's weird? He uh, produced the Beastie Boys. He was the president of Def Jam Records. And, and, uh, he, and he produced a lot of the early rap bands and yep. Slayer. And Slayer. Oh. So he, he when he, uh, let, let me do the uh, Reader's Digest condensed version. Yes, please. He played guitar when he was uh, a, 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 a student in college. He did it just because he loved music so much. He said, when I'm alone, I want my guitar with me. Just so I can hear some music if nobody's if nobody else is around. He played in punk bands in the late seventies when he was in college. And then he went from now you're gonna love this. He went from playing music, listening to music to whatever. He would take his tape recorder and record stand up comedy sets off the television because he loved the rhythm of the words, the timing, and what up and he studied that kind of stuff. He never wanted to be a stand-up comic, but he loved he loved the delivery words and lyrics, uh, lyrics and delivery and right. whatever. And then he took his punk rock background, put it in the Beastie Boys, Run DMC. Now the difference oh. between "License to Ill" by the Beastie Boys and Paul's Boutique is is huge. Right. He calls "License to Ill" a punk rock album, in attitude only. He says you don't have to be a good musician to play with attitude. And he proved that with that album. Yes. Well, that's because he got Kerry King from fucking Slayer. But he took, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead. 
he went to see Johnny Cash in a dinner theater in like 1992 and Cash was playing in front of like 100 people and he said you know what I'm tired of working with adolescents meaning young musicians I want to work with an adult Johnny Cash hadn't had a hit in 20 years he said I'm going to I'm going to talk to this guy show him some music that he'd never heard before and do his magic on him and if you listen closely Rick Rubin puts he did five albums the American recording series with Johnny Cash and the first album was all just Johnny and his guitar here it comes take a nice big dump if you did. Yeah, no, I, I that had was to. That supposed to be a short story. No. Yeah, I like it, stories. It deserves. Where's the, where's the snow button? Rick Rubin and Johnny Cash deserve this. And anyway, he said, I want to hear voice forward. I want to hear it close up, right in my ear. And he gave him the Nine Inch Nails song and said, do this. And Johnny Cash he recorded it. it. And everybody loves it, and um, Not everything is fine, nothing is ruined, and that's my story. Everything and is awesome. That's a better song, by the way. <laughs> it actually is. Yes. It's much more positive, too, I, I, actually. I think I just found a new co-host for the next time you badmouth Pantera. I think you should have pushed the button and shut me up. <laughs> if, I, if I start talking about Rick Rubin or Johnny Cash, I'm not going to stop. That's the way it goes. Uh... Brian Carroll, turn the page, Metallica. That's um. Absolutely, Brian. That's my brother, Brian. That's your brother. Hey. Yeah. Hey, brother Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Um, I love the fact that they, Metallica, were true to the, not the live bullet version of Turn the Page. That song came from Bob Seger's album called Back in '72. That's it's right. out of print, and Metallica was actually very true to the original recording of Turn the Page. If you listen to them back to back, that's what James Hetfield and, 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 and the band listened to when they recorded Turn the Page. They didn't hear the, the live bullet version. That's my take on uh, Turn good. the Page. Brian, good one. Good, good cover. Way fucking overplayed. I got so sick of listening to that. Every time you turned on AAF, it was on, and I was mm-hmm. just like... Ugh. I know. I agree. Change channel. But it definitely... Great, great. The original was good. Yeah. The cover was better. Made it much better. But just so fucking overplayed. I got so sick of it. Well, yeah. Talk to me in two years. I'll probably want to hear it again. But I just it got so overplayed because it was just nonstop but on you the can't radio. Not mention it. Oh yeah, absolutely. You can't yeah, even. It's, it's, I mean, yeah. you can't. You have to because it really. That's how I feel state. about the sound of silence. Same. I heard it yeah. so many I times. I was like, oh god. Had to mention it. Brendan, as always, with a good one. Now this was on my list. Megadeth covering "These Boots Were Made for Walking." Now, originally, here's the story for that. Dave Mustaine got permission to do the cover of the song. After they did the cover of the song and they recorded it, um, I can't even remember the chick's name. That Nancy Sinatra. Nancy Sinatra. Her record company. You might know his, okay. You might know her father. I think I know her dad. Yes. All right. Yeah. When okay. she when she heard that. <laughs> the end of his life, he was the wheel chairman of the board. Yes. <laughs> When she heard the Megadeth version, she completely blew up, and they tried to pull back and say, we're not going to give you uh, okay to, to release it. You can find it thanks to, like, LimeWire and, and, and all the torrent websites. You like viruses? You can find it. Well, I'm downloading music, not porn. I don't get the viruses. I'll leave that to you. No, I was talking about LimeWire with music. <laughs> yes, that's My what I'm talking God. about. My oh, God. Yeah. I, uh, I got I, herpes from LimeWire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I never got viruses i just got music and that's why i said you were downloading porn and not music that's no, why you were not getting them. i don't even know what that even is <laughs> but most megadeth put out a version <laughs> to piss off the record company there's actually a version and i forget what it was on one of the albums that they released where like every third word somebody just sat there with the mute button like they were swearing and just bleeps it out and they put it out anyways and it was a big fuck you back to them because they had spent money and time recording the song and got so pissed because they originally gave him okay, and then when she found out that Megadeth was doing it, she got mad and said, no way. That's uh, that's uh, open yourself up for a lawsuit. If you said okay, yep. that's contractual. Come on, we're not stupid. No. Papers had to be signed. Yep, I agree. But you, do you, do you, to put that out as a cover, do you really want to fight it? 
No. Well, well, that, that's why he just pissed him off because he just the, there's a version out there with like every third word is just bleep bleep bleep. bleep These bleep, bleeps bleep. are made for walking. Yeah. <laughs> that's just what they'll do. So and I then, can't listen to it. Uh, no, nope, you can find you can find the, In fact, you can find the version on YouTube without the bleeps. But bleep. the, the released version has bleep, bleep. all the bleeps in it. No viruses. No, no viruses. No, no lime wire. Fucking punching my mic. All right. Thank you. All right. Minor threat. Stepping stone. Oh, Ooh, bo- by the Bobble monkeys. Tundra. Yep. Yep. Huh. Yep. Oh man. Be right back. Some of these are so different. And see that's the thing. Like that's what I love about covers is that you can absolutely take a song and make it your own. Yep. Or you can do it just like the original. And there's a lot of songs like uh, one one here uh, Brendan just mentioned, Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll. One of my favorite songs of all time. And most people don't know that it was a cover no. song. When it came out, it That's was such right. a popular song, and it took over the airwaves. And, you know, it's it was one of those songs that back in the 80s was so overplayed, but nobody ever knew that it was a cover song. And Joan Jett with another one, that song, Do You Want to Touch? That was also a cover song, and, and most people didn't want to do that. Or yep. something? Uh, Crimson and Clover. <laughs> yep, Crimson and Clover. Yep. So a lot of her popular songs were cover songs, and That's a lot of right. people didn't know that. A lot of people thought that the songs that she did. Queen, as my girls would say. Yeah. She is queen. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people that are huge fans. Queen. I, I, I love a lot of the stuff that she does. I think she's got a great voice, she's yeah. got a great persona, great attitude. Uh, it's you know it's it's not even so much it's the '80s. It's just being as a musician myself and just seeing somebody that made all their money off of cover tunes. I'm just like, okay, write yeah. something good yourself. All right, so anybody can anybody can play a cover tune and make it sound good. You are right. What I miss? What I miss? What I miss? Joan Jett. Joan Jett. Talking about how all her hits were cover yeah. tunes. Not all of them. All right, what, 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 oh, are all of her hits? All okay. of her hits. Yeah. Crimson and Clover was a cover tune. Yeah. Do You Want to Touch was a cover tune. Yep. I Love Rock and Roll was a cover tune. That's pretty much your three hits. All Am right. I missing anything? That's pretty much the three songs that most people uh, will know by her. That's, uh, that's reputation, a fact. Reputation. Bad Reputation. Bad Reputation, thank you, was also a cover tune. Granted, it was covering her, her old band, but it was still a cover tune that she did as Joan Jett. The From Black The Arts. Runaways, yeah. It, it's, it was still a cover tune. So okay. every song that Bad she did that was popular was a cover mouth. tune. Sorry, Joan Jett fans. She's a great cover but band. But you know who uh, is very similar to Joan Jett is nobody. Hailstorm. Oh, hell. Hailstorm. Lizzie yep. Hale. Great, let's talk great about voice. Lizzie yep. Hale. Lizzie Hale. So, all right. So, let's talk about a band that does a lot of cover songs. A lot. All more, right. Some, more than five flavor fruit punch. You mean Quiet good. Riot? Some are good. Some are really, really, really good. Like, for instance, I love Gold Dust Woman. Yep. Right? I love rock and roll. Now, be careful. <laughs> be careful because, you know what? Covering, you know. Covering Fleetwood Mac. Mac. Covering, I'm Irish. I'm offended by that. I'm sorry. I'm half Irish too. So it's oh, all right. all right. It's all right. I'm half. It's all right. Fleetwood half. A little. <laughs> but honestly, another song you have to be careful with, another band that if you're going to cover, right? Stevie Nicks. Yeah. Another queen. You cannot cover Stevie Nicks without having the voice to do it. Uh, right? a, a totally identifiable voice. You could hear that. You could be a deaf person and go... I know her you voice. Know yeah, who that is when you hear her voice. Right. And then, uh, I, I'm sorry, but that song "Landslide" that she did, I think that is fucking awful, and, and so many people loved it. Nobody, nobody said, said yeah. they were I just, all I just that great. When I heard that song, I was just like, oh. Yeah. And I'm a big Fleetwood Mac fan. My band yeah. Oxidize, we we cover the chain. Love Fleetwood Mac, but that song by that song "Landslide." Every time I hear it, I'm like, "Could you imagine her and Eddie Vedder? Which one sounds more like a sheep?" Awful. Oh, speaking of Eddie Be- Eddie Vedder, let me just interject for one second and then go back to your Fleetwood Mac. So, Hailstorm. I gotta say, yeah, Fleetwood Mac. Uh, All right, give one second, up. Come on. He is a long storyteller. Huh? Yes, nope. Is. Speaking of Eddie Vedder, cover songs. Everyone that loves The Last Kiss by Pearl Jam mm-hmm. should go stand in the middle of an intersection yes. that has yes. non-working traffic lights. Yes. I think that is the biggest piece of shit. I love that song. <laughs> oh, I thought you were giving me a high five. I love that fucking song. Oh, no, 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 no. The Bobby Vinton, yes, Bobby sir. V, Bobby uh, Gillis, Bobby song. Collins yep. version was. Really? Nope, I love that song. Oh. I think it's a good tune. Uh, his, he's but I scare you away now. You he's off away. key. Yeah. He's off. He's off kilter. He's off his meds. It's just I think it's awful. Yeah. Personal opinion. All right, hailstorm, Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks. Blah. Honestly, like, but we were talking about hailstorm. Hailstorm. We were yep. talking about 
bands that are famous for covers, right? Or not famous, but that's what Quiet Riot. on the radio. Yep. But Hailstorm has their own songs, too, yes. that are kick-ass. I like that angry they're one bad. she just put up, like, in 2017 or 18 they're, or something. They're all angry. Nah. She's an angry bitch, and that's why she's the um, But they do Still of the Night by White Snake. Really? Awesome. Oh, yep, oh, I've heard it. Oh, oh, oh. If oh. we're going to listen to that... That's, that's, a, a, good, that's, that's a good tune, that's yep. That's a good driving fast song. Good one. By the way. Um, Love it. But she does, the, and her band, her band is amazing. We went and saw them live, actually, a couple of years ago. Nice. Portsmouth, Portland? Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Yes. All both of those. It was on, I don't know, it was amazing. Portland, Oregon, or Portland, Maine? We were, we, were, we didn't drive very far. Port-au-Prince, Haiti? That. I'm not Port good with St. Lucie. <laughs> Anyone who knows me, I'm not good with geography. Not all. But, um, but yeah, Lizzie Hale. Oh, cool. They do a lot of cover songs. If you want to check out their songs, but check out their, their, their originals, too, because she's the best. She reminds me of right. Halsey. You know Halsey? We got we got another one for Brian Carroll. Uh, Faith, Limp Biscuit. This is one that we had talked about. Oh, uh, this, is, uh, this is what brought... Hey, good on you. This is what brought up the... Co- this is why you came up with the thought last yes. episode. Yep. You really? talked about that. Yes. Ah. This is... George Michael rules. Olympics yes. get doesn't. This is a song mm. that when I first heard it, I absolutely loved it up until the chorus. And then they just completely trashed it. What? Love that's the, the best part Oh, of that's song. awful. That's Come awful. on, that's what makes it theirs. No, I think the chorus is... You you're just screaming and just... I'm not a, I'm not a fan of just pointless it's, screaming. It's, it's great. The 2000s new metal yes. can go shit in its own. Oh, it already has. Yes, Never it mind. Has. It's gone. It's over. It's over. Yep. No, I, I, I love the song. Hate the chorus. Well, I guess it could be nice. If I could touch your body. Yes. I know not everybody. It's got a chorus like you. It's terrible. And, hate, he, and the then, chorus, then he yells the at people during it. it. Yep. It's like, stop. Yep. With the, stop with right the. There. She's got a crash on Fred I there. I did. The I door. Did. Have you seen what he looks like now? Yes, he the, looks no, like an old man. The door, yep. Stacy. The door is right there. Hey, if I didn't throw you and off of Bash and Pantera, then she can stay come for. On. Differences of opinion. For like a Fred Give me five minutes alone. <laughs> this hey. is fun. All different kinds. So, hey. All different kinds. One of my favorite cover tunes of all time. High oh. ground. Red Hot Chili oh, Peppers. Oh, I am with Wonder you. Tune. I am absolutely with you right yeah. there. That's a song. If you listen to the, the the original, kind of lame, you know. And I'm I'm a Stevie Wonder fan, not taking anything away from Stevie. Kind of lame, they brought you know. If you listen to it, it didn't have a lot of energy, and mm. the Chili Peppers got it. They added so much to that song and so much energy. They brought it. It, it made me go out yeah. and buy Mother's Milk, other than the fact that there was a giant boob on the cover. I, you that know, that have song, been yeah, why. that song, and the giant boob on the cover. I was Mother's like, boob. I was like, all right, and I bought it, and I like that album, and pretty much everything that they've done since then is sucked. That. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I saw uh, them in concert too. I saw them with uh, I'm sorry. Rob Zombie, and it was the worst concert I ever saw. I saw them recently, actually. I'm sorry. I, I hope they've gotten better over the years. They were. They were awful. I thought that they were pretty good for you know they're old. I saw them in the you Worcester know? Centrum Oops. with Rob Zombie, and I couldn't decide who was worse. And I liked both bands at the oh, time. That's too I had such high terrible. hopes for them because all of my favorite bands, like we talked about last week, had Red Hot Chili Pepper shirts, and I was yep. like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Metallica. And, uh, <laughs> After I, after last week's episode, I went home and I said, "The song knocked me down." Yep. I, I, I said, "Oh, I used to love that in Higher Ground." I played it, <laughs> and I went, "Sorry, yeah, doesn't no, hold yeah, up." Doesn't no, hold up. It's is it not. Um, that's a cover tune. Is that a cover? Yes, tune? Yes, it is. Too? Yep. They do it better too. I think. That's actually not a bad cover. Yeah. So they do better covers than they do originals. If I hit the lottery, I would quote them, though, because I'd, I'd be standing there next to my Learjet going, it's my aeroplane. I'd sing, too, and I can't. Nah, yeah, well, that was, awesome. th- this was pretty horrible. <coughs> oh, God, Zach. All right, so hold on a second. Uh, I'm going to move over a little bit here to uh, some of the other viewer ones that we had because I just had somebody talk about Jay Giles. Oh! Where did our love go? Jay Giles. Love Jay Giles. I yep. know there was another. Yes, there's, these are, this was the, the all the viewers put up a, a, a bunch schnott. during the week. Look at that. So, Jay Giles, Where Did I Love Go? Uh, that, that was from uh, Mark Anthony Lewis. Uh, he had mentioned that. Um, we also got Heart, Stay Away to Heaven. All right. We have to stop right there okay. because mm. 
I want to say, at, what was it, the presidential ball? Yep. Uh, uh, some, some, yes, it was. The, it was the, some some the, presidential uh, stiff. You had a bunch of people trying to pretend like they listen to rock and roll sitting there. Uh, look, look oh, the like, Kennedy Center Honors or some shit. Whatever it was. It was and some, they had some Jimmy, garbage waste of taxpayer dollars. Right. But it really wa- this one wasn't a waste of taxpayer dollars because they had – uh, this is a two-part. It's going to be quick. They had – Robert Plant and Jimmy Page sitting in the audience, and Hart did Stairway to Heaven and the Battle of Evermore, and they fucking blew the house down and put Robert Plant in tears. And it, Ann Wilson nailed it. I would say this. If I had to sit and listen to that song, I'd be in tears, too. Well. By the way, it's not because... She did a bad version of it. it was, it's, I think it's a terrible song to begin with. So well, it, it's putting lipstick on a pig at that point. Her voice, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. But I fucking hate that song. Okay. I hate everything about that song. Personal I opinion. love the fact that when you go to most guitar stores, they say, don't play Stay Away to Heaven. Yep. It makes me want to hang out there even more. One of, so, the, re- one of the reasons of, I learned to play guitar was because when you go to guitar stores, you can't play Stay Away to Heaven. So you learn the other way to play. Like, l- don't play some bullshit. Learn how to really play. Yes. And speaking of uh, Zeppelin covers, do you remember Great White doing Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You yes. on, on MTV's Unplugged? Mm-hmm. Put, on, uh, put on Horse Blinders and, and, and just listen to that. Don't even look at them. It's fucking unbelievable. It's, it's unfucking believable they do, they do such a great job on that song. I would not put on a great white video on YouTube for the fear that they might get that point zero zero three cents and monetize because they never fucking apologize for killing all those people in Rhode Island. I so didn't want to bring that up, so but you fuck did. Great white. All right. Fuck the singer for great white because he right. never apologized, never took ownership for that. I would. Unfortunately, yes. That motherfucker, that he never apologized. He tried having some. He tried putting together a concert to raise money for him, but everybody said they wouldn't take any money from it. So told people not to go to it because yeah. he never apologized. He said I had nothing to do with it. It wasn't me. That it was, was your fucking band. It was your management. It was your show. Yeah. You should have fucking at least been fucking man enough to say, hey, this was fucking terrible. You know, my my heart goes out to everybody, and I and and, and I apologize deep down. But instead, he just took the fucking wrong way and said, nope. Uh, I, had no, I had nothing to do with it. It, well, it wasn't me. It was the well, owner of the me. building and the management. You know that? Not me. Not me. When people put their fingers on their nose. Yep. Oh, it's it, or or when you're playing charades, you go. Yep. You nailed it. You nailed it. You nailed it. Uh, I'll never bring up Great White on this show Gar- ever again. Garbage human being. Don't care how good that yeah. fucking song was. I, I have know. my own personal feelings about that, and I'm right there in agreement with you. And if I got into it right now, it would be a 25 minute story. And fuck them. And yeah, speaking so of fans from back then, fuck I have right. to do an honorable mention. Do you remember Little Caesar? They're still playing right now. They just I, came I home had pizza from, from him last week. Pizza, pizza. Oh, you sounded just like him, actually. Their first single was uh, <laughs> "Chain of Fools" by uh, Are- uh, Aretha. Aretha Franklin. They also had the song uh, "In Your Arms." Loads getting lighter when I'm in your arms. On their first major label uh, record they did I Wish It Would Rain by The Temptations and Ron Young, the singer from Little Caesar, who is still the singer from Little Caesar, fucking nailed it. Hmm. You don't cover The Temptations unless you can cover The Temptations and god damn it yeah yeah, yeah. that's your homework this week. Okay. Go home and listen to In Your Arms, I mean uh, uh, I Wish It Would Rain by uh, Little Caesar. Come on uh, uh, There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Please don't ever play the Fine Young Cannibals, ever. Why? No, no, no. It's, 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 ever. So, Why? The, uh, view, Why? Viewer's choice, by the way, I, I, I agree with you 100%. Please. Why? I agree with you 100%. I can't. I can't, I can't so, not. Fine Roland Young Cannibals. Gift? Roland Gift? I, I, I just threw up in my mouth. Yeah. <sighs> Why? Yeah. Fine Young Cannibals did a cover of Suspicious Minds. Ray Estrella threw that one out I'm there. I'm sorry, Ray. And I'm sorry, but that, that Ray, guy. I hope you were saying it. Uh, Ray, I'm borrowing your Porsche next weekend because I love the fucking Fine Young I Cannibals. I fucking hate the Fine Young Cannibals. Roland Gift is a gift. No, he's no. not. He is a good no. thing. No. no. Wait, hold on. 
Uh, hopefully, Ray is saying that it is a terrible. No, he said it was a good song. He did. Yes, unfortunately. All right, Ray. And All right, you guys. Awful. You guys. It's, it's awful. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. <laughs> First of all, the, I, I, I don't even know the, the singer's name, but he sounds like somebody's squeezing this. Do that. Like no one else. It's awful, she dude. Me no, it's fucking disgusting. I can't help myself. Yeah, that's, uh, why would you want to listen to that? Oh, why would great. you want to listen to that? Oh, there was two cannibals. You don't, you don't they were like, fine. They were young. You don't like Pantera, and you like fine young cannibals. Fucking right. No, oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm going to turn I, my I, back. I, I thought I knew you. I'm pausing on that. <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic did a cover of that. It, it said she drives oh, like crazy. And and Dawn drove the Porsche last weekend. <laughs> she drives like crazy. Yeah, I saw that. Like no one else. All right, so Patricia. Come on, that's a good thing. Patricia Eaton. I can't hey, pronounce that last Trish. name. So she says, bodies, drowning pool. I didn't know that that was like, oh, covered by we're wolves. We're oh. wolves. We are wolves. Oh, we, no. we're Is that let the bodies hit the floor? Yeah. Yes, bodies, oh. yes. So uh, that, I know the original. I, that, I didn't know that anybody had done a cover of it. I knew that they, this, but I will definitely give it a listen to and, um, and, and see about it. Good point. Right, uh, Br- Brian Carroll, we're going back to you. Walk This Way with Run DMC and Aerosmith. Yes, it counts. It's on my list, and it's on the shit side. <laughs> Why? Because it's awful. Oh, no. Wait a minute. You talked about how bad new metal was. Do you know why new metal started? Because of that fucking no. song. Yes. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yep. Nope. Absolutely. Nope. 100%. Nope. Nope. 100%. Garbage. I'm on the fence. Run DMC and Aerosmith. Look. Aerosmith was just coming back. They had just released Done With Mirrors. It was pre-permanent vacation. They were on the rise. It did bring it did bring attention to uh-huh. both bands for sure. And I loved Run DMC back then. I still do. Love both bands. Oh, yeah. Hate that song. Bah! It's so overplayed, dude. So overplayed. Isk. Terrible. Ah, yeah. ooh, ooh, Awful. Ah, and it's and it isk. W- ah, a booga 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 mm-hmm. isk. Ah, yeah. ooh, and it's what ah. and, and it's why you got new metal. You're welcome. The what? new metal now. Yeah, now new, new metal is is is, the is rap and, and, and metal. It's rock and, and rap. No, that's exactly where that got was it. Pantera. They did groovy metal. Oh, that's groove metal is not new metal. Ah! Mm. You're giving me a limp biscuit. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Uh, I love. Can we, can we go sweet for a second? Can we? Oh, sh- can uh, we, we can try. Sure. Sweet. All right. Sweet. To be sweet, we gotta talk about. Whitney if Houston. I. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> And uh, that, that's a song. I know where you're going we, with it. Can it's, we turn down the lights a little it's, bit? It's a song that it's nobody it's knows it's is a cover tune. Well, a lot of people, people, people don't know. They, they didn't know until well after. Well, I don't know. Maybe they don't know. Maybe we're going to tell you right well, now. My tell parents us what the grew song up. Is. My, I grew up with my parents listening to Dolly you all the time. You've yet to grow up. Well, they put out the albums on the, the, the big stereo and when we lived in Winthrop and it said Dolly Parton's greatest hits and I was like I fucking agree <laughs> twice greatest <laughs> greatest tits all, all both of them all both of them yes but right. honestly so what's the name of the song that song uh, I, I'll always love you yep from, yep. Honestly, from the from the bodyguard soundtrack and, and yep. anybody who tries to sing that song mm-hmm. fails miserably yes well I will I'm just gonna plug for a second plug my child has a beautiful singing voice. I will say that. And she can't actually sing that song now. I'm not going to, like, put her on the spot. And I am her mother, so we know, right? So we'll take That's that with, what a grain of salt. with a little grain of salt. That's However, what mothers do. She, um, and I tell her, if you can't sing Whitney, don't sing Whitney. Yep. Don't, don't even. That's a good mom. Don't even, right? I told you that, and you know it. And she sang it for me, and I cried. But I cry when she sings all the time. But I'll tell you. No, but honestly, Whitney Houston, I cried when she died, too. That she's, what an amazing voice. What an amazing voice. What an amazing song. Nothing like her. Nothing like her. Nope. And just an amazing song. So what? here's one. Jim, Corn, yes. Word Up. First time I saw that, so uh, a buddy of mine was related to, through marriage, to Jonathan Davis. And whenever Corn came oh. to... Boston, I would always get backstage passes. Shit. And the first time they ever played that live on stage was in Manchester, a Mansfield. 
uh, Great Woods, Great, Great Woods Tweeter Center, whatever Great it's called Woods. this week. It's still called Great, Great but Woods. But it was the, the Family <laughs> Values Tour with Snoop Dogg and all of them, and we were told that they were going to play this song before they even played it, and I was just like, oh, this is going to be terrible. It was fucking awesome. That is awesome. It was just absolutely, completely blew me. I was, I was... Which one? Uh, Word Up. Corn. Really? By, by Cameo? Cameo, yes. All right, okay. It, it, they fucking absolutely yes, killed it. I could see them. I could see them doing it. I was that. standing on stage right behind Fieldsy when they started playing that song and it just completely blew me away. I was absolutely shocked. Did you get heroin in your eye? I, I probably, yeah, I probably. Yeah, that is one of the, that's one of the great, see, they yep. took that song and made it their own. Absolutely, and they and made, it made it great. That's good. All right. Really Jim Chappett, Godsmack ruined Joe Walsh's Rocky Mountain Way. Thank you, and that's all we have to say about that. Couldn't agree more. I never heard that one either. Rocky Mountain Way? Joe, uh, yeah, but that's a great sentence. Godsmack ruined Joe Walsh's Rocky, Rocky Mountain, Mountain Way. Way. End yes. of sentence. Yes, there's nothing else to say about that. Thank but, you. But, yes, Jim, you are correct, Jim Chappett, yes. The pow- I see somebody uh, Somebody wait, wrote wait, wait, The Power Station covering Get It On by bang. T-Rex. Yeah, Power Station, Get It On, Bang It Gone. Whether you think that's good or bad. Uh, I think it was great. I fucking love T-Rex. Mark Boland was the shit. Wait, so, wait, wait a minute. Michael McDonald from the Doobie Brothers covered Run to the Hills. I don't Why? Even, Brendan, I don't even want to play it. I, no, I, don't, I, I never. Iron I can, Maiden? Oh. I'm going Iron to my Maiden grave song. with... Yeah. I'll ever hear in that. I, I, I think. You hear it, you never unhear it. Yeah. I think I will, uh, I will uh, not listen to that. Uh, Brian Carroll, Cake, I Will Survive. I know the band, know the original song, don't know that they did a cover of it, don't know that I want to know that they did a cover of it. First. That would be interesting and probably horrible. Now I am afraid. I am yes. petrified. Yeah, yes, you and me both. All right, Love so, T-Rex. How about, so, Boom, Brandon. So, songs that should never be covered. Pat at base. First of all, the Pat Boone album where he recovered all of the metal was funny. No one missed a nice guy yeah. and but all they that were, But they were absolutely fucking terrible songs, yeah. in, including uh, Enter Sandman. Talking cash grab. You talk about, yeah, yes. Yeah, nope. Well, that awful. the one person that can cover Metallica is, is Jason me. Isbell on the blacklist. No. Fuck you. Uh, no, no, I will shit no. right in your mouth. If, if if you, if, will, you, if you haven't listened to that he song. He did Sad But ha! True with Steel Gay! Guitar. And hell I, I, yes. They can hear it, but we can't. But yeah, when you Gay! play that later, you'll hear that Gay! Is exactly what you hear when you hear Gay! doing a Metallica cover. That is fucking awful. 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 Metallica. awful. Metallica so, can cover all right, whatever they want. Ready? I'm going to describe it to you. It's the Brokeback Mountain version <laughs> of... Um, oh. Uh-oh, John. Sad but true. Are you saying it's an overproduced, overhyped movie version? <laughs> a, co- a cowboy overhyped, overproduced movie version. A cowboy movie. That's intense. Hmm. Yeah. Get it's it? Intense. Sure. At the top of the mountain. Yeah. Intense. <gasps> like Boom! Intense. Yes. Right. I was trying to make a funny. I got it later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, another one that should have never been done. Uh, one of my favorite bands, Exodus. They did a cover of the Rolling Stones' Bitch. Yeah. Awful. Linda, looking at you, no one should do Rolling Stones covers. But they also did a cover of Elvis Costello, Pump It Up. Great. And that is fucking awesome. I love their version of that. You know, um, Weezer. Weezer, yeah. <gasps> Elvis Costello. Yeah. Yeah. Weezer, I don't know why Weezer reminds me of all of Elvis Costello's song lines, but Elvis Costello fucking rules. They do a lot of cover songs too. Weezer. One of my favorite artists of all Africa. time. Africa. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. Toto. Sounds the same. Exactly the same. I yes. Think. Yep. Oh, don't right. go. Are I'm you up. are you going to go there at the bottom of the list? Because I got a lot to say about that one. Wh- which one? This one right here. Nope. At the bottom of the list. This one right here. I think we. I think we. Which list? Right there. Yellow. Boom. Which one? We already talked about that one. Mm-hmm. We already talked about whiskey last, in the jar. Last week. No, no, we talked about it today. We most certainly did. Rewind the tape. We already oh, talked about was... it when we, when we were talking about Metallica covers. We mentioned whiskey in the jar. Love Thin Lizzy. Yeah, you can talk about it again. Go ahead. Love when thin... you rewatch this tomorrow, don't say I didn't tell you so. Uh, I'm not the one to ask, actually. <laughs> no, we did Am I Evil. Nope, we talked about whiskey in the jar because I said the original was good and their cover was good. But 
and you're gonna remember it now. I said it's fucking overplayed to death. I can't stand hearing. Oh, it. I thought you were talking about turning the page. We were talking about turning. Oh, the it's page. the same shitty song, isn't it? <laughs> ah, boom! There it is. Same shitty song. Moose uh, plus squirrel. Yeah. Plus Stacy. Another. All right. So it was off the same album, and I'm just as sick of hearing it. Yeah, overplayed. <laughs> Overplayed. That's why it's so overplayed. It, I was trying to erase it from my memory. A lot yeah. of people think that's a weak cover. I think it's fucking great. I yeah. think they did. But that's the song. You know, every St. Patrick's Day, I break out the acoustic and I, as I was going over the Cork and Kerry mountains, I met with Captain Farrell and his money I was counting. So that's what I do, and that's my take on that song. I'll the be, end. I'll be editing that. <laughs> that part out. What? Oh, wait till I'm gonna be editing out me. Being wait till wrong. next March. Yeah. You'll be like, hey, we, we, give me that that thing you just did. Yeah, I'll be editing out where I was I'm wrong. Joking. Never happened. I mm. found a really good one lately. Okay. Because uh, I search for them because I love just cover songs. For cover tunes. Yes, I love them. I yes. Do. I love them. Love them. So I found um, uh, Hootie, Hootie and the Blowfish. Not bad, Ben. All right. And they sing, if you're a frat boy. I, see, I don't know who sings this song, and it's a 70s song, I think. They sing Use Me. Don't oh, know. I don't know who sings this song. Don't if my it. brain was Google, I would have I, this well, I have right Google, here. So I should probably. Yeah. Is it like. While you're thinking of that, and while you're Googling. All right, I'm doing it. Brendan Bean just said Billy Idol, Moni Moni. Tommy James and the Shondells. Yep. Billy Idol. Billy Idol just performed. At uh, yeah, at uh, the Big E, and he did a cover of Johnny Thunder's "Born to Lose" from Johnny Thunder's and the Heartbreakers. Not to be confused with Tom Petty, who's right where he should be, and the Heartbreakers. Oh, and man, Billy Idol still does it. I watched the video; he's still killing it. And fucking a, yes. Best thing Billy Idol ever did was his cameo in the Wedding Singer. Right. right, but by the way, I, I love I love Billy Idol. I'm not I'm not dissing Billy Idol, but uh, Moni I, Moni, I wasn't a fan. No, it no. was it was a. We, you you like to use the word cash grab, cash grab. phrase? It, yeah, it was put a cover tune on there just to put a cover tune on, and there was nothing special about he it. Ca- he covered L.A. Woman, uh, I think it was which, right right which, before the Doors yep. movie came out, which was great, by the way. And then yep. rock the cradle of love that every young boy. <laughs> Every young boy with the vi- music video. Yeah, so yeah, the video was great if you turn the sound off. It was like watching Telemundo. You turn the sound right. off and the video was great. But Billy Idol was in a band in What's the, funny is you know the exactly 70s. what I'm talking about. Every, Billy, I, I look at my phone. We just, we just <laughs> walked the line. All right. We don't say the words. We just walked the line. But uh, Billy Idol was in a band called uh, Generation X in the 70s in England and... Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers went over there in 76 and did tours with them. And Billy Idol came on the scene in 1981 with White Wedding. Steve Stevens nailed it. Wrote the theme to Top Gun. Fucking Top Gun. Billy Idol is still doing it. Yep. Old, older than most of my oldest uncles. And I, but, hold, hold on. I, I'm, I'm actually a bit confused. Dom Frizzy. Testament doing Nobody's Fault by Aerosmith. Ah, um, I love that one. Dom, do you like Testament? Interesting. Really? Great <laughs> fucking I, songs. Yes. yes. I love Testament's. Yep, that's a, Chuck Billy yep, nailed that one. Love, yep. Testament, Chuck Billy. Dom, and good one. That. Great cover. Absolutely love it. I just didn't know that you liked Testament. I didn't even know you knew who they were. He remembers. He had the cassette single. Yep. That was I bought it for him. Single. It's a single. It's a cassette single. Speaking of Dom, it's time, uh, Bo, we got to do this. Right, real quick. Oh, okay. Bill Withers was Use Me, 1972. Yes, got it. And you need to listen to it. I will give it a listen to, absolutely. It is, it is wonderful. Dom, Love you, it. Dom, you also mentioned these earlier. Joe Cocker, a little help from my friends. I think I mentioned that one. Yeah. Uh, that's a good one. Elvis kicked off rock and roll with a cover of That's All Right, Mama. I don't know that song at all. But. It's uh, Elvis Presley's first uh, single. Yeah. Okay. That's All Right, Mama, 1955. Sun Studios, him, Bill Black, and uh, uh, Scotty Moore. Great fucking song. 
all along the watchtower. We mentioned that earlier. Yep, we, we talked yep, about that. that. Thanks for showing up late. Yep, we we, uh, Where we, we hit that one earlier. That one Bob sure Dylan did. wrote All Along the Watchtower, and everybody knows uh, Jimi Hendrix's cover of that. And Bob Dylan was asked about that cover, and he said, the, uh, they said, well, what do you think about Jimi Hendrix's cover of your song All Along the Watchtower? And Bob Dylan himself said, that's no longer a Bob Dylan song. That's a Jimi Hendrix song. But it probably and sounded a lot like... Biggest, 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 biggest honor... Do no, biggest <laughs> honor... He well, should. He, 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 yeah, hey, this is in this Stacey, yes. He, he won't press the button on himself. No, he, definitely not. He can't, but he should. He should. Ah, waka waka. You're have to work on that. And speaking of uh, 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 Bob Dylan, Knocking on Heaven's Door by... Guns and Roses. Roses. What does everyone Guns think Roses. about that one? Guns and Roses has a couple of good covers. Well, or, well I think their best one was an old bootleg that came from a live thing. They did Whole Lot of Rosie by ACDC mm-hmm. back in like 86, and it was fucking incredible. Really? I think that covering ACDC is low-hanging fruit. Well. I think anyone can do it except for the number one. We're going to get that one later. The worst cover of all time. Oh yeah, we're saving that to the yeah, end. We're saving that to the end. So, and that's because all of our we're, equipment we're, is going to explode. Yes. And we're pig piling on the fact, but anybody should be able to do an ACDC cover. It's like I could it, do an ACDC uh, You absolutely could. You could probably play. Uh, you could probably play bass, drums, and sing at the same time. Um, I don't know, but the the, the, the Dom just the sorry to that's step right. on you. What is Dom saying? Dom just wrote. I love when Jason Isbell covers Testament. <laughs> 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 I thought he was going to... Oh, gonna, my uh, brother's getting all heated. Uh-oh. Guns Uh-oh. and Roses. Guns and Roses. G&I. G&I knocking on Heaven's Door was yeah. fucking awesome. It was. Mm-hmm. It, they wrote it for a long time because they had started playing that when they first started touring. My friend Greg saw them in 86 at the channel yep. before they were anybody, mm-hmm. and they played it then. They I just... They used... Those. They used... They signed his fucking vest. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he had all the original members. He met them back at the channel, and uh, but they use that as a just padding for the set. You know, let let's do some originals and one that these fuckers know. You know, hmm. and they had their own take on it. Yep. And great cover, no yeah, doubt. Great band. All right, let's get to um, let's get to some more user choices here. All right. So, uh, Brendan Bean, Iron Maiden, Cross-eyed Mary. I don't know that I know that song. I don't know who the cover was. Um, and I don't know that I know the Iron Maiden version of it either. But another one that he threw out, Crocus, Ballroom Blitz. Great, great cover. Great cover tune. Uh, sweet. Yeah. Is it, it was yeah, the it was sweet. The sweet, yeah. Yeah. But the, the, the chick that covered it for Wayne's World, that was terrible. Uh, Tia Carrera. Tia Carrera. Yeah. yeah that that, was, that, um, movies don't count. No. Oh, fuck movies. Well, uh, then, you'd have no. to, then, then you'd have to take out Whitney Houston because that was a movie. Was. No. Oh, you just said movies don't count. No, nope. that was, that was, that was the bodyguard. soundtrack. That, Tia Carrera did it in the movie. And it was on the soundtrack. Oh! Yeah. It was. All right. Yes, it was awful. All right. Yeah. So that's a good and a bad. Yeah. Crocus, good. Very, Tia Carrera, the, not Very so Crocus. Good. Very Crocus. All right, so uh, somebody had mentioned Joe Cocker earlier. I, I love the I love what he did with the with that section of uh, the the Beatles song. So my buddy Rob Sillick, uh, he's Canadian. We won't hold that against him, and he's a Maple Leafs fan. We won't hold that against him either. Nope. But he had put out a Joe Cocker first. We take Manhattan, which was a um, uh, Leonard Cohen song. Love Leonard Cohen, and th- I listened to it. <laughs> the, I, I, to I can't it this believe the, our first Canadian l- yeah. viewer, viewer picks Leonard, Leonard Cohen, Cohen, one of the most <laughs> famous Canadians, Canadians ever, ever, besides yeah. Noah McDonald. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> that's, oh, that's awesome. Way too soon. Nah, I love it. I, I would say that Shania Twain's a more famous Canadian than I have all her album covers. <laughs> <laughs> Hate her music, but I would uh, I'd, uh, I'd hang up her album covers too. Iconic. Uh, but I, I actually had never heard it. Rob had mentioned it on the on the post, mm-hmm. and I went and I listened to it, and it's an absolutely fantastic song. I don't know the Leonard Cohen version of it, but the Joe Cocker version was fantastic. And speaking of Leonard Cohen, people covering his songs, Hallelujah. Jeff Buckley doing Hallelujah. Yeah. So let me say this. Jeff Buckley, terrible singer. Jeff Buckley, terrible guitar player. Keep 
hitting my fucking microphone. Me, terrible sound guy, fucking hitting my microphone, couldn't get the sound to start the, start the show. But Jeff Buckley, awful singer, awful guitar player, fucking nails that fucking song. Yeah. It is absolutely fantastic. I really can't wait to listen to some of these songs. That is a great, great fucking Making song. Making a mental list. I oh, love yeah. it. Good. Yes. But that's I'll a, this, forget as soon as I walk that, that's a, that's a, you, you, you didn't think when you, you tuned in here today that we would be talking about Leonard Cohen, but we, we actually got two Leonard Cohens. And you didn't think we'd have a Canadian viewer. Yeah, imagine that. We're worldwide, we're, folks. We're, we're international. We've had a Swedish viewer and we've had a Canadian viewer. Moose and Squirrel. Maybe we'll go to Australia next. All right, so we hit, we hit this one, American Pie by Madonna. That was on the terrible yeah, list. That stinks. Somebody wrote oh, earlier, uh, I think it was uh, Ray Estrella wrote Kiss with a question mark. I don't know if he was asking about the Prince song Kiss or I think uh, one of the best Kiss covers I ever heard was Anthrax on Attack of the Killer Bees doing Parasite from their second album uh, written by Ace Frehley on Hotter Than Hell. Parasite. Anthrax fucking nailed it. Don't know it. Give me don't some know an- the anthrax. Don't give know me, the. Give me some anthrax. I know you've got opinions on anthrax covers. All right, so anthrax is another one of those bands that, much like Joan Jett, most of their most popular songs are all cover tunes. Indians isn't. Uh, at, at, it's actually a ripoff. Indians. So you know that Danny Lochner and Scott Ian <laughs> and Charlie Benante were in Stormproof- Stormtroopers of Death. Oh yeah. Storm they wrote. Troopers. They wrote the song. <laughs> they wrote the riff in Stormtroopers of Death. And it was supposed to be on the second S.O.D. album yeah. after they released Speak English or Die. Yes. And then they, uh, Charlie and Scott went on to Anthrax, and they stole the riff that was supposed to be on the second S.O.D. album. Oh, shit. They stole the riff and made Indians out of it. So it's kind of, it's not a cover tune, but it, I mean, you're ripping yourself off, but you ripped off one band for another. But what about Antisocial? Ant- that's a cover. It's it's a cover, and it's actually the original song is in French, which just makes it that much better that they took a song that was in French and made it good. You're a beignet. You're a beignet. Yeah. Uh, I don't. That's the only French word I know. Eiffel Tower baguette. <laughs> uh-huh, Pepe Le Pew. French fries. Yes. <laughs> yes, freedom fries. French yes. Fries. Yes. It's only uh, been 20 years. Uh, got the time. Joe uh, Jackson. Oh, Great. Joe Jackson is one of my favorites of all time. That's a great cover. They really, really nailed that. Yep. Absolutely nailed that. And come on, you know, come on, Bo, give it to me. I, I Ozzy, my... Tony, Iommi, Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. Oh yes, Sabbath, fucking. Bloody, I'm gonna a. forget that. Sab- and, and by the way, another band that nailed Sabbath, bloody Sabbath is Overkill. Overkill has a version of that as yes. well as Anthrax, and they are both phenomenal. Dee Dee Verney from Overkill yep. has a new Rockabilly album out that a guy I know, Damian Bocci, if you're watching, in Florida, love you, pal. He recorded the the lead guitar. Nice. Thing. We'll talk about that off air. But anyway. Ooh, I like, yes, yes. I like the Van Halen one they got there. Ooh, who covers Van Halen? Van Halen, Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Oh, they. Really oh, speaking of a band. Yep. Dancing in the street. Unfortunately. Yep. They do they were, you know, we know what we feel about Eddie Van Halen and, no. and da- Diamond Dave and whatever. What they, do you feel about Eddie No, Van but Halen? no, I, I, I'm talking about the whole world because I, I, I represent. Except for, except for me. I represent the whole music community, mm-hmm. apparently. Um, Uh-oh. That fucking talk about bands that I think cover. it was their company said, release this, release this, release this. Uh, all day and all. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, the you Kinks, really the the Kinks, Kinks song. Yep, yep. Yeah. Their first single yep. after Eruption. Yep. Do, 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 you, do. Really really you really got me. You really got me. Really got me. And then Pretty Woman, and yep. like you said, uh, Dancing in the Street. Yeah, I mean, come yeah. on. Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. Yeah, I think, and, I think that was the record company forcing them to put a cover tune on the albums, and they were, I think, all yep. crap. And they were probably, their hands were they, tied. They, but by the way, they were all popular. They were all listenable, too. But if you compare it to the other stuff that they did, I think it's not as enjoyable as their original stuff. And I don't, right. And, and, uh, definitely. And I don't like their original stuff. So what does that say? Well, uh, <laughs> what about uh, Quiet Riot? I know they were around for quite some time with Randy Rhodes in the early yep. early 80s. He formed that band in, in the late 70s. Well, but when they 
hit with Metal Health. Yep. They hit with uh, Slade's song. Yep, Come On, Feel the Noise. Yeah. And, and they... Did not this... want to do the song. So they fought, no, they, they didn't. They to not to, to not do the song. Slade's one of my all-time favorite bands. I absolutely fucking love them. And they followed up their second album, Condition Critical, with Mama, We're All Crazy Now. Mm-hmm. Another Slade song. Because yep. the record company said, if that worked, this is going to work. I mean, at the time... Quiet Riot had everything right. The black and white striped pants, the black and white striped mic stand, the the you know, the instruments. They had Rudy Sazo, Carlos Cavazzo, Frankie Benali. Everything was awesome at the time. Everything is awesome. But oh, I've never got a yawn. But they, 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 they followed it up with Mama, we're all crazy now. And it was like, let's try this again. And they had the imagery in the in the videos. And, and you know the story about "Come On, Feel the Noise." When the record company said that they had to do it, they got the song done in one take. Yep. And they didn't want to do it. And um, Kevin, Kevin Dubrow, Dubrow intentionally sung it goofy because he didn't want to do it, and he thought the record company would say, "Forget it." And they were like, "Perfect." Do you know he sounds just like Naughty Holder? Like if you if if Kevin DeBro went up on stage as a as a, a tribute act and said, "I'm gonna do my impersonation of Naughty Holder from Slade," that'd be tough from the grave, but okay. Well, if in 1983 he did, <laughs> bear with me. I have he bear with me too. Sounds that's what that's what the 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 genius of whoever was producing them that yep. went. This guy fucking sounds like Naughty Holder from Slade, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and brought now. Kiss was influenced by Slade. Many of the bands in the 70s were influenced by Slade. They actually fucking took Slade songs and made, made them, hits out of made, them. Yep, made them yeah? popular. And, hey, love Slade. All right, we're an hour and a half in, so we got to oh! uh, we gotta, we gotta start. We don't have to wrap it up, but we got to start looking at, uh, we, I think now is a good time as ever to hit the all-time fucking most god-awful Awful. I can't believe that awful. Actually a thing. Awful. This is all bow. Awful. All Stacy, all bow. Awful. I'm bowing out of this one. Awful. There was it was a Vegas show and it was it, it ended up making it live and there's actually a recorded version of this of Celine Dion and some other chick that I have never heard of doing You Shook Me All Night Long by A C D C Chick One. And wow. it is like it is like mom karaoke. Drunk at the Chinese food place. Did at she do 1 this? o'clock in the morning. Yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, several times. Yeah. And I don't even know who the other woman is in the song, but it's embarrassing. It's awful. There's <laughs> when the, when it first starts off, like the first thirty seconds of the song, I'm on YouTube and I'm looking and I'm like, that's not the right song. Oh my God. And they're playing like thirty seconds, forty five seconds in, and then all of a sudden. I want to pretend I'm. I want to pretend I'm someone else. Yeah. Okay. And it it changes, and I, I made you listen to it, and I and I know you're still pained from having to listen to I'm it. I'm reeling Here from it. Still bleeding. But mm-hmm. it is absolutely, without question, the worst. Serious. I, I've seen people do covers where they're being goofy and they're being silly and they're or they're just not prepared and they're trying to one off and wing it and it's bad. This was something that they prepared for, that they rehearsed that they recorded, that they released to the public, yeah. and it was that fucking bad, and they were proud of it. If your baby's ugly, man, I'm going to tell you that your baby's ugly, and this is the <laughs> ugliest baby on the planet. And you have to remember, I'm sorry. No, she's saying it with Anastasia. Just so you there you go. Know. Okay. Thank and you. you. Nice. Yes. Good pull. You yeah. have to remember, there's also sound engineers yep. and musicians and Managers and agents and, and, and handlers and everybody that says, okay, do it. Yes. Ah. Yeah, that's one of those things ah. where you know, whoever gave the okay to let that go, man, they should be fired. Yeah, they should. But I will say this, and, and, and I don't know the name. What was the song that she had off the Titanic? My Heart Will Go On. There you go. So, And that was a huge hit for her. My Heart Will Stop yeah. after hearing this. No, no I'm, I wasn't a fan of that song, but you can't deny that it was an absolute mega fucking hit. It was and a she's a fucking hit. great singer. She's got a great voice. Absolutely. And I think it was one of those things where 
when you do that, it was kind of like uh, like uh, Eddie Murphy trying to be a singer after he was a good comedian. And Let's he does, do it again. My girl wants to party all the time. My girl and wants somebody, to party all When the somebody's time. that high on <laughs> life at that point and they're at the pinnacle, you just don't tell them no. Or they just don't take no for an answer. That's what it that is. That had to have been what it was with the Celine Dion thing. She heard it and she thought it was fucking awesome. And I was... I actually had, it was one of the, it was like it was like a train wreck. It's like one of those things when you see the train schmeal the car and you you rewind it and you watch it like five times. I must have watched that thing from beginning to end five times in a row, and I'm just Me like, too. I'm trying to find something that I like about it. And uh, you know what? what I like about it that I get to shit on it here today. That's about it. Was this before or after her husband died? And I, I think I'll, this was before. So if she was high on life. Then her husband hit the cancer iceberg, sunk, and she was like, ah, fuck, I wish I never did that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty terrible. I'm sorry. If you haven't seen it and you can stomach hearing an absolute fucking abomination of a cover song, that's it right there. Worse th- than anything else on this list. I think Tex- Texas just outlawed Celine Dion doing that song. <laughs> yes, they should. I mean, there was a couple others. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a couple out here quick. Limp Bizkit behind Blue Eyes. That's one where, you know, that's kind of a 50-50 one. I know people who like that. I liked it, but I think it was overplayed. Yeah. Definitely one of those things that just you couldn't get away from. Yeah. But I thought it was a decent, other than in the middle of it where he started doing the little wiki, wiki, wiki scratching in the background. I'm like, doesn't belong in the song. No. Get it out. Lose that bullshit. Decent fucking cover tune. Speaking of that one, yep. I because I, I, we're on the who, I got to give major credit. I know I shit on them earlier. Pearl Jam doing Love Rain Over Me. Great fucking cover. I haven't heard it. Well, I know I know the song, but like I shit on the last kiss. Yep. But them doing uh, okay. love rain over me. They uh, did a great job on an, that. Another one that should never be done. And I've heard a bunch of bands try and do this song. Uh, CCR, Clean, Credence, Clearwater Revival song, Fortunate Son. Oh. You uh, two version of it, probably the worst. There's a bunch of different bands that have tried to do a yeah, cover of it, do and they, and it, it doesn't work. CCR fucking nails it. Yeah. And you can do a cover of it if you want. It's just not going to be as good no as original. Way. That's just one of those ones where they nail it so fucking perfect, it's tough to improve it upon it. There's an old video of my band, White Trash Deluxe, doing that at the Midway Cafe in Jamaica Plain. That song, it it, 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 it doesn't exist anymore. I, I don't know where it is, but it was really fucking good so i was allowed to cover that song so rob mcleod eddie murphy potty all the time is a great song i love it rob mcleod i'm right there with you i love pop music Uh, give me some pop music uh, i love uh uh, the new kids on the block song oh 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 oh, oh, the the correct things dom says dom says seager did fortunate son and it was great so i'm gonna have to give it a listen he did it was a it was a bonus on uh like a rock it right. was a live you version, and it was fucking great. that song good. Yes. Or well. I, I, you too? Yep. Terrible. Uh, they got to stop. Le- Lenny's Crab's Itch, American Woman. No, no, no. Don't shit on Lenny. Uh, that was terrible. No, I, I love terrible, Lenny terrible Kravitz. Song. I hate that. I hate that song. That's, that's a terrible yeah. song. He, did, he, 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 did he, he took a big that. dump right on I'm everybody up with that. Yep. All right. So, we still have a ton on the best. Is there any in here that you want to, that we missed? You talked, we talked about Hailstorm earlier. Yes. Good, I mean, li- good know, lists, everybody. Well, yeah. Um, Bo, Stacy, you did great lists. What's not on there too, and in, in bringing it kind of to to now, is uh, da- Daughtry. Do you guys like Chris da- Daughtry? Yep. He uh, did a photograph cover with uh, Santana. Photograph, photograph of Def Leppard. Def Leppard <gasps> photograph. Okay. Oh, I thought you were gonna you say, say Nickelback. fucking Nickelback. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I don't I was know. Like, wait, 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 wait. Oh, get out. Um, or maybe you would, actually. But pretty amazing. And he did another cover, um, Hunger Strike, uh, obviously. Temple, yep. No, Temple of the Dog. Temple of the Dog. That's absolutely right. Sorry. Great, great and, song. Uh, he did that with uh, Lead Singer Seven Dust, LeJean... With something. Some pearls you Yeah, Manfred Jensen. And that's a really, really, really good cover, too. Nice. Really different. Hey, good, you good, haven't heard good pull. Before. Good take. For real. Um, CCR's cover of Proud Mary. Great cover. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Rob McLeod, Sacred Reich War Pigs. Talked about that one earlier. Yep. Be- best headline ever. Ike beats Tina to death. Yes. <laughs> Ba-dum-bump. 
Uh, did we talk about the Ataris, Boys of Summer, and oh, I Remember You? Oh, that's a killer cover. That's a great cover. I yep, fucking Ataris. hate Don Henley, but I love that song. Nice but too. Fun fact about that song. Oh, hold on. It's another one that was overplayed, though. Mike Campbell from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, the guitar player, wrote that song, wanted to give it to Tom Petty. Yep. Said, record this. Manage, uh, Tom Petty and management said, nah, we're not, we, we pass. Pass it on to Don Henley solo. Hmm. Convenient. Yeah, absolutely. Great song. Yep. Love that song. Don Henley can go walk in uh, Walden Pond and fucking uh, stop breathing. I don't give a fuck. I think I liked these songs when they first were played and now listen to them for the first 50 times. And then after the 50th day. That's very liberal. 50 times. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I can't anymore. I I'm done with it. So I, I, I'll agree that the one you just mentioned, the Ataris, and the one you're about to mention, maybe. Yep. Well, this one's yours, so you're going to mention oh, it. Oh, wait a that second. That was on no, your list. No. Careless Whisper. That's, on, that. that's on your list. So it is on my list, and that was overplayed at the time it came out, too. But it's good. And it was Wham. It wasn't George Michael. Yeah, I love how they say it's the same. My sister's favorite guy. band at the time, That's Wham. Right. I loved that song. Another one. That's Still do. Yep. All right. So in the air tonight, Phil Collins. Nonpoint. Nonpoint. I, I'm pretty sure I've heard this version of the song. It's kind of an obscure one. Uh, I don't think it was that popular when it was released. No. But I've definitely heard it, and it's uh, a very respectable cover. It is a song you don't cover. Am I right? Uh, I, I definitely think it, it's a tough one to do better than the original. And they did a decent when the when the drum solo comes up, the the yep. part that makes that song that song. Right. I, and you got you got you got to air drum it for us so I'm we can like, even. I didn't think you were right? actually going to do you that. You did it. I did it. You pulled it off. So here's the thing: if they didn't do that part as good as I wanted them to, yep. just like Disturbed. Would have ruined the song. Would have ruined the song. But yep. they, they, they... That would be like somebody covering Disturbed and not starting it with going, oh, ah, ah, ah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Here's, here's another one. And, and... I like Jim Shepard's... Uh, what Chappie David I didn't Bo know that was a cover. Either. Now, you know, I hate... I, oh, I Nirv don't... Nirvana, a man that sold the world. I think they did a great job. And the Meat Puppets... Uh, where the uh, bad folks go when they die. I yep. think they did a great... Nirvana, right. the man that sold the world, great, great cover. Great. Sinead, Sinead O'Connor, nothing compares to you. Prince is yep. my man. Love Prince. Uh, fucking now, A. Great who's, song. Who's a guy from Soundgarden? Chris Cornell. Chris yeah. Cornell. Just recently he died. That. He does, by the way, I think it's awful. It is awful. I, I love his voice. I think yeah. he's got a phenomenal voice. Yep. And after he died, everybody tried pumping this song up. Every time I tried to listen to it, I'm like, it's it it nothing compares to the original. It's not. I good. tell you the what, the original cover, by the way, the original Sh cover. Sinead O'Connor fucking nails it. Made that her own. Yep. And if there's a there's a video on YouTube, Prince doing that song, and it's old rehearsal video of him. Yep. This, okay. you know, they it's like a bunch of jump cuts and whatever. He's dancing around in rehearsal. He's fucking around with his mic stand, doing his Prince thing, and. Playing, playing with his guitar. Listen. To that, to his version of that. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing. fucking amazing. amazing. I watched it and I went, oh! All right. Uh, Alien Ant Farm, Smooth Criminal. Uh, excellent, excellent cover. I awesome. I love it. <laughs> That's okay. Awesome. Love it. Overplayed. Uh, so overplayed. Yep. Over but yes, they, overplayed. They, they nailed it. They really did. Right, it was one for you. Oh, I don't know this one. My man. New York Dolls, give her a great big kiss. Cover of the Shangri-Las, give him a great big kiss. Okay. G 60s girl group. I know who the Shangri-Las are. Yep. Yep, they did uh, Leader of the Pack. Yep. They had a song called Give Him a Great Big Kiss. New York Dolls covered it in 73. Blah, and... I'm surprised they just didn't give him, make it, give him a great big kiss. It would have fit with their persona. Johnny Thunders... Uh, Covered that all throughout his career, and it became one of his the Gay! And uh, yeah, they another, I, one, another I, one that was yours. I covered <gasps> 1966 British Invasion, The Searchers, Needles and Pins. Uh, the Ramones covered it on uh, Jesus. I want to say Rocket to Russia. First time they had like clean guitars and whatever. Needles and Pins, Ramones, fucking great, great tune. 
Look that up on YouTube. Twisted Sister covered leader of the pack. Yes, yes they, they did. did. Yep. Right? Twisted Sister did leader that of the pack. Yeah, nice, Jim Chappett, nice, nice good call. Stare. It was, it, like was it, it was an absolutely god awful terrible fucking hilarious. cover, but yeah, yeah, they did definitely yeah. covered it. it and, and next to the price by Twisted Sister, leader of the pack is a fucking yeah, number one hit. Yes, <laughs> it's the price we gotta pay. The, the, cl- the clash, I fought the law. Yeah, mm-hmm. Bobby Fuller four. Yep. Everyone's covered that song. I oh, we got to talk about. But but I I, I think the clash kind of made it their own. They completely they changed definitely it. did. They, they punked it yep. out. They didn't they didn't completely trash the song, but they punked it out enough that they made it their own. Absolutely right. And uh, Ma- Manfred Manfred Mann's Earth Band. That's covering a Sp- Bruce Springsteen, Springsteen song. Blinded by the light. I think nobody knew that it was a Bruce Springsteen song. I think Springsteen sucks. Yep. Springsteen, the douche song. Wrapped up, wrapped yes. up like a douche. Springsteen's... Right. Like, like Bruce Springsteen. His version from the... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You're Dom. Wrong. The Wild, The Innocent, and The E Street Shuffle. Uh, in one, of, one of his first two albums. Oh, Greetings from Asbury Park. Whatever the fuck it is. Best Blinded band for- by the Light is, is, is a fucking killer ta- song when Bruce does it. The greatest band from Asbury Park. Overkill. Fuck you, Dom. Whoa! Uh-oh. Overkill. Asbury Park. I'd say John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Beaver Band. <laughs> the Brown Beaver Band. All right. Last yeah. couple. Uh, Eric Clapton, After Midnight. That's covering yourself, isn't it? I yep. think that was uh, Chris Bailey. Had that sounds that like one. a Miller Lite commercial. Yep. The second version. Yeah, but that was de- definitely, the, I mean, that was him covering himself, right? He wrote that song originally. Yep. Uh, Tool, No Quarter, Sean McFarlane. Hey, Tool. Uh, Led Zeppelin. Yeah, I, I, I hate Led Zeppelin. And Sorry. I hate Tool, but... I will listen to it just because you put it out there. I, I, I don't know it, but I'm not a fan of either band. Sure. And then, was this one of yours, Tori Amos? Somebody said Tori Amos? No, all right, sorry. No, Aaron Ridd. Do I get the name right next to me? Uh, Tori Amos doing Do It Again by Steely Dan. I actually gave this a listen before I came on. I love Tori Amos. And I was a Tori Amos fan, but I think that she absolutely ruined this song. Really? If you know the, the Steely Dan song, Do It Again, yep. mm-hmm. she made it all slow and moody and emotional and just and... really, ah. yeah, I kind of trashed it. Ah. Too bad. She yep. wants to, you want to take and, a and, diarrhea. And like you said, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of her. She's got a great voice. Yes. I love her music, but doing a cover of that song. And you I do think. love a redhead. Yes, I do. All absolutely. Right. And a piano. <laughs> so uh, I went to see Alanis Morissette mm. with my daughter a couple weeks ago. I was going to bring her up. I yeah. don't know why, but good, good on you. Amazing. Uh, she was amazing. I think she still holds the uh, the angriest record, woman. The ever. record for the most number one singles off of an album, the Jagged Little Pill. Yeah, it was yeah. like seven of the songs on that so album went number one. Yeah, isn't it ironic? Yes, we are. Twenty-five years. Don't you think? 25-year anniversary, that's why they went in garbage open for her. Apple, aptly named? Yes. I, they, they sounded kind of... Anyway. So. That sh- is that Shelly Man- she- she- sh- Manson? Shirley Manson. Yeah. Ah, garbage. Yeah, she is garbage. That's um, pretty funny. To Sorry to interrupt you. Right. And garbage opened up for her. It sounded like commentary, not an actual band. <laughs> it was garbage. I saw Alanis and garbage opened up for her. But uh, Alana sings Crazy by Seal. That's a great song. Yes, it is, and yep. she does it well. Another no, we're one. never going to survive. Hey, do, do you want to read Dom's comment? Uh-oh. <laughs> Getting aggressive. Getting to the end of the show. That's okay. Oh, that, that brings us to, uh, we got ads to read. That brings us. That. If, we're, if, if he's going to say, and fuck you too, Hulkerin, we're going to read an ad. Dominic Frizzy. Third Floor Guitars, Malden, Massachusetts, thirdfloorguitars.com, facebook.com slash thirdfloorguitars, set up, customize, restoration. You want to have, you, you have your guitar or any stringed instrument for that matter, restored or customized in any way you want it, Dominic is the guy to see. Third Floor Guitars. You can see it right down here. Get on it. Dom, we love you. We love Dom, but I think that uh, maybe you should read the, uh, <laughs> or, or say the, the ads next time. Maybe I did next it. Time. I'm sorry, Dom. It was off the yeah. cuff. It was oh, off it the was? Cuff. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course the it was. Cuff. Yes. The cuff. Yes. The cu- yeah, all right. The, the cuff. It, it sure has no cuff. So. The cuff. 
I'm tired. I mean, come on. You can't I read. I was doing it from so. my heart, Stacy. All right. It, it was a long from. Time, like everything. No. That was good. No, it's, it's, a, it's a read. <laughs> I didn't have the type in front of me. Next time. Next time. Karina's Cakes. Mom. Over here. You, you, you want me to do that one? Karina's Cakes, 14B East Broadway, Derry, New Hampshire. Boom. Cupcakes, cakes, pies, cookies, whatever you want, whatever you need, custom cakes. Don't walk into the store and expect there to be cakes. All custom ordered. Give Karina a call. Reach out to her at www.facebook.com slash Karina's Cakes, or you can reach her at 603-425-9620. Hallow cakes. Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas is coming up, folks. Don't wait till the last minute. Karina's Cakes. And third floor guitars. Third floor guitars. I think I got a guitar or two I can bring him. <clears throat> hey Dom, can you uh, can you fix Floyd Rose? Where's Dom again? Where's Floyd? Malden. 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 Get it? Do, you, do you have any experience My with uh, Seymour Duncan blackouts? <laughs> Michael J. Fox just read the third floor guitars promo. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. All right. What are we talking about next week? All right. Give me a. What do you think? What do you think? What are we talking we about? We need next a week? subject. Ooh. We might have to uh, dwell on this for a we little have bit. To think about something. Give us an idea. Somebody out there in, in TV land, computer land, phone land. Can I stick with the music? We want we guests. Don't know. We just we want whatever people are going to tune into. This was you. Know, you get some pretty good feedback here. See you. See. He wasn't shitting when he said we want guests. We yeah. will have guests. That's if fine. you want to come and be, she stepped up Absolutely. and said, hey, I want to come on the goddamn show, and she's here. Yes. Because the rest of you is all a bunch of fucking gutless cowards, What's and you won't come out. Sitting behind your <laughs> keyboards. Yep. Sorry. No, kidding. Um, Thanks, when, everyone, when, for tuning in. When we ask everyone else to come on the show, we get... <laughs> Yeah, no. But you know what? It is worth your time. What else you got to do on a Sunday? It's fun. It, it, this was super fun. Well, I'm we, glad we, you came. We, thank you for coming out. We appreciate you uh, joining us, and it hopefully so we get fun. you back on the show again. Love to. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Stick around. for. Uh, you'll see the updates. Moose and Squirrel will come up with another topic for next week. Yeah. During Unless the you week, can come up with a topic for next week. And <laughs> we'll, uh, yeah, send us your ideas. What do you want to hear? What do you want to talk about? You want to be a guest, Dom? The seat's open for you. Come out Come and on, uh, put your right money there. where your ass is, or put your ass where your money is, or your mouth, or your something. Just yeah, Dom. Yeah, yeah she Dom. said it. I don't know, Dom. Thanks, Thanks. Squirrel. See ya. And Stacy. And Stacy, thank you very much. Go blow, blow it out your ass. <laughs>